Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is my first ever Makeup Haul Monday or Monday Makeup Hauls. I don't know exactly what I'm calling this yet, but ask you guys on Twitter if you'd rather see one really big haul like every so often or if I have enough on a weekly basis to do a haul every single Monday. Mondays kind of suck, so I figured that this would make them suck a little less, hopefully. <laughs> and then if you love makeup hauls, then you know exactly what day to come to my channel and check out some makeup hauls. So anyways, really quick before we get started, because the packages that I have today, they're like a lot more than one week. I've been saving these up because I've been trying to pre-film for New York. By the time this goes up, I'll be in New York and hopefully I'll get to meet a bunch of you guys at Gym Beauty. But yeah, before we get started, if you are new to my channel, then welcome to my channel. Before you leave, do not forget to click that subscribe button down below. That way you're notified for future videos from me. And if you ring the bell, hopefully that really makes sure that you're notified for future videos. I know YouTube's been a little bit crazy lately, so make sure that you click that bell button. I do post two to three times a week now, so Sundays, Mondays, and Wednesdays. And yeah, I'm excited. There's a lot to talk about, so let's go ahead and get started. Really quick, I forgot to show you guys in my last haul video, the gloss I'm wearing today is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna gloss in the shade Fenty Glow. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. It's supposed to be a universal nude, and I totally forgot to haul it in my last video, so I want to tell you guys about it on here. And I'll leave all these items we talk about down below in the description bar. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about because I'm honestly so excited about it is this package that I got from Bumble and Bumble. So they sent over a bunch of stuff to try out and I'm not really fancy or anything with my hair care. So I've been trying to use all this stuff and figure out what to do. The first thing I want to show you guys is the Bumble BB Strong Finish Firm Hold Hairspray. If you do not buy anything for your hair, you need this. So normally I use a, I think it's called Shaper Plus or something. I get it at Ulta. And the problem I have is, is normally I like to curl my hair when it's dirty, like wash it and then the next day or a day after that curl my hair. But the reason why I like to do that is because my hair tends to not hold very well whenever I just jumped out of the shower and my hair's like freshly washed. I used this last week. I don't know what I was thinking, just washing my hair and then putting it in a curling iron, but this is amazing. Literally, my curls were so freaking tight. They lasted like two to three days, and this is hands down the best hairspray I've ever used in my entire life. Not even kidding. I already want to like buy a backup and a backup of that and a backup of that because I love it that much, and yeah, this stuff is so amazing. They also sent over the Hairdresser's Invisible Oil, and this is a dry oil finishing spray. I have not tried this out yet. It does say that it is for dry hair, but if you guys have used any of these products, let me know down below. Let me know what your favorites are from Bumble and Bumble, because I'm excited to be testing these out. The next two things are actually restocks for me that they sent over, and I love them. So this is the Don't Blow It, and this is like a hair dryer in a bottle basically. You know how normally whenever you wash your hair and then you let it air dry, it doesn't really look as good as if you blow dried your hair. This makes it look just like you blow dried your hair and it makes your hair dry a lot faster too. And then this is the Preta Powder by Bum One Bumble. It just gives your hair lots of volume and it doesn't make your hair like super tacky. So I love these. And then what else? I don't think I grabbed the shampoo because I think it's actually in my shower, but I tried out the Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. This stuff smells really freaking awesome and it made my hair feel so soft. And then this, I think I may have actually used this wrong. This is the Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Cleansing Oil Cream Duo. And I believe you're supposed to put it in damp hair. And I actually, I think I used it almost like a shampoo. So I'm gonna have to reread the instructions for it. But yeah, these are the next products. And then they sent over the BB Thickening Dry Spun Finish. This is basically like a lift in a bottle for your hair. It's supposed to make it nice and textured. And then what else? They sent over, oh, I'm crazy. Here's the shampoo that I was talking about. So I used these two together right here. And again, they did make my hair feel very, very soft. And I'm just really weird because I've tried a bunch of other shampoos before. I'm always a little scared when trying new stuff, but these products actually really worked for my hair. Now, I haven't tried these two, but I am going to, and I'll keep you guys updated probably in favorites and stuff. This is the Invisible Oil from Bumble and Bumble, and then this is called the Brilliant Time, I believe is what it's called. So I'll be testing these out, and I'll keep you guys updated. But huge shout out to Bumble and Bumble. They're like changing my hair game, and again, 
That hairspray is the best thing I've ever tried. <laughs> I had to like go round up all these products for this video since I have been using them. I was like, okay, I have to make a stop by the shower, buy my vanity to get everything. <laughs> oh, and the very last thing I forgot to show you guys, they sent over this little like hair wrap and they told me on the, I guess this is kind of how you do it, but you would actually put your hair up. Oh, this is cute. I might be having to wear this except for the tag. Okay, obviously I'm not good at tying this stuff. No, this is, but basically I think you're supposed to do something like this. You can use this hair tie. I don't know if they sell it, but they sent this over for their nighttime like hair paro cream that I showed in one of my last videos. Okay, the next package came from Bare Minerals and I'm so excited to try this. I've heard so many amazing things about this foundation. So let me open it up so you guys can see it. They sent over quite a few products. Okay, so here is the box that they sent over and there's a lot of goodies to try out. I haven't really tried that much from Bare Minerals. I know that a lot of people have raved about their lip glosses, but I haven't had a chance to check those out. So they sent me two shades of their foundation. Okay, so this is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. And here is a close up of the bottle. So I have the shade Sandstone and Honeycomb. And I'm gonna be probably trying these in a first impressions video so you guys can see them. But let's just really quick look at a shade. I'm gonna really quick pump one little pump out so we can see a comparison of what the colors look like. Oh my gosh, I think these are gonna be really good matches for my skin. So Honeycomb has that like really yellow undertone in it, which I need because I'm very yellow or warm undertone. There is Honeycomb right there. Oh my gosh, these colors are really pretty. And then there is Sandstone. It's a lighter shade. And then of course I can mix those together. But there they are like side by side on my hand. The coverage looks like it's probably going to be really full coverage, which you guys know that's actually what I go for. I love full coverage. Full coverage really is about the only kind of foundation I will wear. I like the full coverage or nothing at all. So yeah, that is the Bare Pro foundation. And then they sent over two brushes. So we have the blush brush right here. And then we also have the, this just says Luxe Performance. I'm guessing this is like a contour brush. There those are right there. And then the next thing they sent over is the contour kit. And these shades actually look really pretty. So here they are right there. You have like a lighter, medium, and dark tone. So let's swatch these. They feel like very buttery, very pigmented, obviously. Holy cow, why is not everybody talking about these? Ooh, these look really nice. Okay, so here are those shades swatched. I'm excited to try them on the face because they do feel like they would blend into the skin like really nice. And then the last thing they sent over is the Hydrate Primer. So excited. Thank you so much to Bare Minerals for that package. Like I said, I haven't tried a lot of Bare Minerals stuff before. Oh, and this right here is actually for the foundation. Oh, I'm excited about this. Okay, let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see a first impressions tutorial with these products because I'll definitely do it for you guys. So let me know. Okay, the next package is from L'Oreal and this was so awesome. So it's basically like a little makeup case and it says face, eyes, and lips and it has so many of the Pro Glow products. I love the Pro Glow foundation. So here is what the very first drawer looks like. I'll kind of hold it up so you guys can see. So here it is. It has all of the shades in here. So if you guys want to see like a swatch video so you can see the different shades side by side, then let me know. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, it's got two different colors in here. Let's look at sun beige. This is probably what I would be. So this is the infallible pro glow long wear demi glow finishing powder. What's it? Oh, and it comes with a highlight. Okay, so here's what it is. So one side, as you can see, I don't know if you can tell because the lights are so bright, but basically it has like a line through the middle and you have two different shades. So the bottom is just like a actual matte shade and then the top is like a glowy shade. This is about the same color as my skin so you guys may not be able to see it. Dang it, you probably can't see it. But basically, yeah, one side has a little bit of glow to it and the others doesn't. And then here is the shade that I tried this week. This is the concealer and it is a little bit of a lighter coverage. Okay, and yeah, they also sent over the Pro Glow Concealer. So I'll be testing those out. The next tray that they sent over has some infallible metallic eyeshadows. We have some matte eyeshadows and some brow 
pencils and everything like that. So here's an up close of this drawer. And I just want to swatch at least one of these eyeshadows. I don't want this video to be five hours long. So that's why I said, if you guys want to see this in a separate video with swatches on all the shades, let me know. So here is what this color looks like. It's so gorgeous. Ooh, girl, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's very, very pretty. I don't know if you guys can even tell how gorgeous it is. Okay, let's swatch like one more, maybe two, maybe three. Okay, let's just do like one or two more. Okay, this one is the shade Brass Knuckles. Oh, that's cute. So it's like a more like goldy shade. Look how freaking pigmented these are. Oh my gosh, and they're so creamy too. There's that shade right there, Brass Knuckles. Okay, really want to try this purple. The purple is called Violet Luster. Oh my gosh, I'm very excited about this. Look, like, look how metallic -y my fingers look just from swatching these. Oh yeah, there is the Violet shade. These are so, so gorgeous. And then like I said, the other stuff in this drawer is brow products and some eyeliners. Here I am saying this whole video isn't gonna be long and I think it might be long. Okay, and then... Okay, and then the very last drawer are the Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. So I'm gonna swatch a couple of these on my hand for you guys. This shade looks like it's gonna be right in my alley. And there's what the packaging looks like. Where is the name? I'm not guessing that the name is like, no, that's not it. Where is the name on here? Nope, the names aren't on here. Okay, so I don't know what this shade is called, but it's like a purpley shade. Ooh, gorgeous, the applicator is honestly so perfect. Okay, this is not going back in this box. This is going with me to New York. This is so, so pretty. And then this other shade looks like it would be a really good shade for me as well. And this one, oh yes. The smell almost smells like a burnt candle maybe. I don't know, it's very weird. I'm not really good at scents. But anyways, here are these two colors swatch. Oh my gosh, these are freaking gorgeous. So there are those shades right there. They feel like they would be comfortable. They look like they wouldn't dry all the way down matte. Like they look like they're gonna have more of a sheen to them, which I like. I'm kind of over the phase of like super, super matte lipsticks. So yeah, there are those. Like I said, let me know down below if you guys want a full swatch video on this whole entire box. And thank you again to L'Oreal for this package. Okay, so the next package actually came from It Cosmetics and I'm so, so excited because they just released so many products. It was so crazy. And I'm so thankful that they actually sent me some to try out. Okay, so you guys know the CC Cream is one of my like all time favorite foundations. And I also love their brushes. They're like no other. But they actually came out with a new foundation and this is called the Bye Bye Lines Foundation. And here is what the packaging looks like. They sent over the shade medium and tan. And one really cool thing about It Cosmetics is most of the stuff that they have, it also has like skincare ingredients, so it's gonna be really good for your skin. So here is what the packaging looks like. I love the packaging, so pretty. And here's an up close of it. And let's go ahead and do like a pump of this just so we can see what it looks like. I think this is supposed to be medium to buildable coverage. But I like the consistency of it. It's not like a super watery foundation. Oh my gosh. I think this might be full coverage, which you guys know that's what I like. Oh my gosh, this is looking really pretty. So there, oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. That is the shade tan right there. And I'm gonna swatch it beside of the medium shade, just so that way, like if you guys have had your eyes on it, then you have a shade comparison. And like I said, this is only one pump, so I can only imagine how pretty the coverage would be on your face. Okay, so here are those two swatches. You have medium right here, and then you have tan. But the foundation itself looks really, really pretty. I cannot wait to try this out. I don't know what my life was like before I found it cosmetics, because honestly, I feel like I saw so many people talk about the CC cream for so long and I was under the impression that it wasn't full coverage. I don't know why. And then one day I tried it and I have never looked back. I have like so many backups and I honestly need to buy like all the shades for my kit because that foundation is just awesome. Okay, so yeah, bye bye lines. And then they have the Confidence in a Cleanser. This is their new cleanser that they came out with. They have the Confidence in a Cream. They have the Confidence Eye Cream as well. And they have a foundation and then they came out with this and it's a cleanser. And then they sent over two of the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealing Pots. And here's what the packaging looks like. I wanna try this out as a concealer. And then also I like to sculpt out my eyebrows. And this is like a more thicker consistency, I believe, which I think, yes, 
would be perfect for going in and sculpting out your eyebrows so i cannot wait to try it kind of like both ways eyebrows and concealer i like a kind of thicker concealer i don't really like super super thin concealers because normally i like full coverage and the thin ones normally don't do the job okay and then they sent over the superhero liner and here's what it looks like right here and then the last two things are the bye bye breakout full coverage treatment concealer you guys i needed this so bad last week because i had a really bad bump that was like right on my chin and you guys know like when you have acne or like one of those random bumps that's under the skin and it pops up it's so hard to go away and literally like you can just put all the makeup on it that you have and all of a sudden it like eats your makeup that sounds gross but anyway this is really cool this is a full coverage treatment concealer so it's like a spot treatment for your acne but then it also conceals it and covers it up so i cannot wait to use this especially whenever i'm breaking out so they said the shade medium and tan as well and yeah if you guys like have breakouts definitely try this out because like i said they do have like skincare and stuff in their products which is really nice and again thank you to it cosmetics for that package okay next thing came from milk makeup and here is what the box looks like it says a lip color and then here's what the inside looks like these are the signature creamy demi matte lip color it says it's packed with 30 percent pigment to deliver a full coverage and intense payoff in a swipe so I am going to go ahead and swatch all of these for you guys. I like that a lot of them look like berry tones because I love berry tones. Okay, first shade. This is called OG Red. Okay, Milk Cosmetics was not playing with that one swipe payoff. Holy cow, I don't even think I have a lipstick that's like this intense on one swipe. OG Red. This one is called Dip Out. There is Dip Out right there. Kind of reminds me a little bit of MAC Rebel, but a little bit darker purple. I swear like every purple shade I compare to that <laughs> lipstick. This is called Low Key. Girl, I believe is how you pronounce the next one. Oh yeah, this one is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love that shade right there. The next one is called Name Drop. I'm just like going crazy with these look how so pigmented these are okay there are those right there swatch i feel like they don't look as bright as they are in person because they are super bright okay the next one is called extra and this one actually isn't as pigmented as the rest of them it's a little bit more sheer and that's called extra Ooh, this is really pretty this is the shade called cream Putting that aside, this is going to be a New York color. <laughs> okay, cream right here. You have the shade Wavy, which is like a really fall appropriate brown shade. This is really wearable too, and that's called Wavy. The formula of these feel so good. This is called New Whip, and it's a really pretty shade. And then the very last shade is called Wifey. Oh my gosh, knew I was going to love that one. Oh my gosh, I've set so many of these aside because I love them. Okay, this is called Wifey, and when I say I love them, like I'm going to go ahead and put them in my purse, and they're going to be good for every day <sighs> wifey i think wifey takes the cake it's my favorite so there are those swatched right there really awesome package thank you so much to milk makeup i cannot wait to wear these they feel so comfortable like on my skin i can't wait to fill on my lips so the next package actually came from nyx and they sent over a super cute t-shirt i have that packed in my bag for new york sorry i keep talking about new york but i am so excited to go i've never been before so they also sent over these new lipsticks that they just came out with and you guys know in a previous video i showed some of their metallics and i was blown away i cannot believe how wearable they were so these are called the love out loud lipsticks they're a cream lipstick so the first shade we're going to try out is called lol03 now this is what i'm talking about give me some of those bright lips yes this is so pretty okay there's lol03 then the next one are these all called lol yeah yes they are okay this one's gonna be shade number four <laughs> they dry really fast like this one right here is already dry so this is 03 and then this is 04. There is shade number five, which is a really pretty nude shade. Okay, the next shade, shade number six. This one's super light. So I would probably mix this one in with other shades to kind of lighten them up. And that one is number six. Here is shade number one, which is like a really pretty like lilac purple. And then the very last shade is shade number two. Here are these up close. They look really pretty. Like I said, they look like they're gonna dry down fast, except for, for some reason, this color right here looks like it's gonna be a little bit more wet, but really pretty, super fun colors. I feel like NYX has been 
killing it lately. I've been seeing some of the new palettes that they came out with, new packaging for their lipsticks, and so excited. And thank you so much to NYX. I cannot wait to wear my Love Out Loud t-shirt. I like already have a super cute outfit planned. So yeah, very excited. And if you like fun, bright colors, make sure to check these out. Okay, so Sigma sent over this super cool package. So this says Cream Day Contour, and here is the box they sent over. And it has some lipsticks and a eyeshadow palette. And apparently this palette has been out before. Look how stunning the packaging is on this. I believe they said it sold out and so they're like bringing it back, but these shades are so fun. They're like really pretty pastel shades. So let's swatch a couple of them. You guys know me, I'm gonna go for like the, oh, these look like they're gonna be pigmented. Here is the top row just swatched on my fingers. Ooh, look at that pink. These are really pretty. They feel really creamy too. So there those are swatched on the hand. They're a little bit lighter, so it may be hard to see them because I know my lights are super bright, but I can't wait to dive and play into this. Like I said, I came out with some lipsticks that look really fun. Oops, so here are the four lipstick shades. So the first one is called New Mode or MOD Mod Mode. They feel like they would be comfortable, like the formula doesn't feel too thick. And here is the first one, New Mode. Okay, the next shade is like so Barbie pink. This is called Top that right there super fun and bright next one is called fox glove i am loving berry shades such a pretty color and then the very last one oh this one looks like it's gonna be super fun this one is called peach teeny oh my gosh so pretty these shades are so gorgeous they would have been so fun in the summertime too especially the peach teeny so there are those shades swatched right there as always, I do have a discount code with Sigma. It's Daniel Ray XO. Daniel Ray. I always get my codes confused, but I'll leave it down below for you guys. And then they also sent over another package and it says Sigma Staples. These are our must have brushes. And I have some of these already because when I first started YouTube, I went on a Sigma binge and I ordered a ton of their stuff. So I'll probably save these for you guys, but they have the F80 Kabuki brush. They have the eyeliner, the E06, such a bomb eyeliner brush. We have a F42 strobing fan. And then they have a couple more like their pencil brush, their angle contour brush. So thank you so much to Sigma for those packages. I am so excited for those lipsticks and the eyeshadow palette and I cannot wait to try them out. Okay. The next thing I ordered, um, I actually placed a couple eyelash orders from Coco Lashes. I love the style Goddess. Those are the eyelashes I normally wear. I'm like so fearful now because I did a video a couple weeks ago. There were so many comments about it. I was so embarrassed, but I took a brand new pair of these out of the box, put them both on, and I swear I didn't notice at the time because literally I can't have to see anymore, but it looked like one of the eyelashes was completely a different lash. Like everybody thought that I just picked up two lashes and didn't realize it, but they were a brand new pack. So I'm going to be like seriously checking these to make sure because like some of them look longer than others. I don't know. I've never had this problem before with them. So let me know if you order from them, if you've ever had that problem. It comes from Lady Moss, I believe, but it's called Coco Lashes. They're the lashes that I normally love to wear. Okay. I will actually be doing a video with a couple of their newer releases that are going to be coming soon. So stay tuned for that. But by Terry, y'all know the drill with them, how much I love their brand but they came out with these expert dual powders and it's an all over perfect matte and glow and i hope that these are like the bronzers that are in the designer palettes because they are so so good but here's what the packaging looks like it says by terry and it's in like a purple package Ooh, they look so pretty so basically on the outer ring you have like a bronzer shade and then in the middle is supposed to be like a lighter shade i don't know if you're supposed to use it as a highlighter or like under the eyes now this color i don't know if this would actually be my color because here are what these two look like. I might need a little bit of a darker shade because this looks a little peach. But this looks like their formula that I love. Oh, this is pretty. Look at the, like it's not the bam in your face like glitter ball highlight. But it's like a really pretty glow. And then right here is the bronzer. So if you guys like by Terry, like I said, I'm going to probably be doing like a review video soon. With some of their newer releases. So stay tuned for that. But 
I was so excited about this that I had to go ahead and show you guys. And by Terry and Octoly actually sent this over for me to try out. The next thing was sent from Octoly and Becca Cosmetics. Okay, and this is the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer. And here is what the packaging looks like. I'm pretty sure I've heard really good reviews about this. And it's in this like gray packaging, but we'll have to try this out. I'll probably be featuring it in like a first impressions type tutorial, but yeah. This is a blurring primer. So I love their, it's like a glow primer. I cannot think of the name to save my life right now, but I really like that one. So I'm excited to try this out because I need to blur my pores. So let's hope that this works. <laughs> okay, the next package came from Jergens, and it says Jergens is more than just a moisturizer and here is the packaging. And they sent over two of their moisturizers and I'm actually excited to try these out because the names of them, like it, sounds like it would smell really good so they sent over a original cherry almond essence and then the other one is a coconut oil one so i remember like growing up me and my mom used to use this one and it had like a glitter in it like in the summertime we love that so thank you so much to jergens for this package okay elf cosmetics sent over a package i'm going to try to go through these because i know this video is going to be super long they sent over their hydrating bubble mask and then a couple other things. I need to do like a drugstore tutorial, but they sent over their baked highlighter and bronzer and then their highlighter and blush. And then the other two things they sent over is a, another blush, which looks like it'd be a really pretty shade. It's the shade Glow and then an eye primer. So thank you so much to Elf for this package. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I'm showing this toward the end. I meant to, okay y'all. The next thing, I know you have heard me talk about this so many times. The, I always say Ely Maya or Ely Maya. And the reason why is because my grandma's last name is Ely and that's how we pronounce it. But this is their brush shampoo and this one is in the smell of Rose Martini. This is my favorite brush shampoo ever invented. Oh, it smells really good. This is their pro size. I go through this like crazy, especially when I have lots of weddings. But this hands down is like my favorite brush cleaner ever. I will not stray. <laughs> And then they also sent these over and the reason I'm so excited about this is because I actually take the pro size with me when I travel because I like to make sure my beauty blender is clean every day and then sometimes like if I take an eyeliner brush and I use the dang it what is it called the Inglot gel liner it like makes the brush really clumpy so I really like to take the brush shampoo with me they came out with like little minis these are so so cute so these are definitely going to be going in my travel bag oh my gosh they have one that is called a unicorn I am so excited so thank you so much for sending this over you guys know how i feel about them i love them so much okay a couple last things the brand scott organic sent over some essential oils me and snow like are obsessed with essential oils so i'm so excited to try this out but what they told me about these are they are actually like made wherever the plant originated from i believe is what they said they sent over a peppermint oil lavender oil sweet orange oil which i'm really happy and excited for lemon oil and so these are supposed to be really good we've tried out so many other essential brands so i'm like really excited to kind of compare these because I think these are a little bit more pricey because how they're made and how they're manufactured. Oh, and then they also have like little recipes and things that you can make with them. It says like the lavender oil is great for relieving menstrual cramps and headaches. These cards are really awesome. So thank you so much to Sky Organics. I am so excited to try. Let me know down below if you guys use essential oils. If you do, like what brands do you use? What do you recommend? We're so obsessed, like so obsessed. Okay, the next thing I actually got from hush.com or shop hush i believe is what it's called are these like dupe palettes i really wanted to do a dupe video and oh my gosh i've literally had this package at my house for like three weeks and i've been so far behind on filming so anyways this is supposed to be a dupe of the anastasia modern renaissance palette so i'm going to be doing some videos like actually testing and trying these out swatching them for you guys and then the other one is a dupe for the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palettes, which is like one of my favorite palettes. Like I love it so much. Oh, thank goodness. These are in good condition. One of the other palettes I got was broke, so I was worried. But here's what that palette looks like. So they look so similar in the packaging. These palettes are only like $10 and I have a coupon code they gave me. I'll leave it down below, Danielle Ray or Danielle Ray XO. Anytime you guys like want to try coupon code, just like try either one of those and see if it works. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to do those videos because 
I'm pretty sure that they're going to be pretty similar. And then this other one, that one's going to have to go in the trash because it is like completely destroyed. Okay, very last two things. I'm so sorry. I know I told you guys this one was going to be short, but the next ones will be short. Er. Okay, so I ended up ordering the thank you to my aunt because she actually got these while I was working because I didn't know if they would sell out. They are called I Think I Love You and this is their new palette. ColourPop honestly has been killing the game with their eyeshadow. I use the She palette, I believe it's called, and I'm so impressed with that palette. The quality of these are so high in, it is ridiculous. So here is the ColourPop palette, and I'll show you guys, oh my gosh, so pretty. Here is what the shades look like. They're mostly shimmer shades, and from the swatches I've seen online, they're absolutely gorgeous. So if you wanna see a tutorial, on that let me know down below and the very last but not least package came from the better skin company and they actually sent this to my p.o box i believe here's a 20 percent off code for you guys it's danielle 20 awesome okay so they sent over a couple things i haven't really heard a lot about this brand but oh they sent over some lindor chocolate so they have stole my heart already <laughs> um they sent over this scrub mask and a little mirror oh and then they also sent over a zit no more and this is a acne treatment right here and then they also sent over a little bag so thank you so much to the better skin company i can't wait to try those products out and yeah so that is going to complete this haul so sorry i know it's super long but I wanted to get this out of the way, get this stuff pre-filmed for you guys, and let me know if you're excited. Give this video a thumbs up if you're happy and excited for Mail Haul Mondays. I am super pumped. So like I said, if for some reason like I don't have packages one week, um, then I'll just like film it the next week, but I just want to do them a little bit more consistently and not on my normal scheduled upload days. That way you guys are getting more videos than just hauls. So yeah, I love you guys so, so much. I hope you love this video. Thumbs it up if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.